if Jesus didn't walk around claiming to be God, yeah. the, the historical Jesus, yeah, I yeah. mean, like the things that we think he actually did say, yeah, yeah. who did Jesus claim to be, in your view? What did he claim to be doing? Yeah. I think Jesus absolutely saw himself as a prophet of the coming kingdom. He thought the kingdom of God was soon to arrive and people needed to prepare for it. And so I think he modeled himself on the prophets of the Hebrew Bible who were warning people that danger was imminent and they needed to protect themselves from the danger by returning to God. Uh, Salam and peace. Welcome to Dawah Dude. Uh, today I'd like to share um, a recent interview I saw at the Alex O'Connor channel uh, from Bart Ehrman. It uh, was a... His, his research tells us uh, that the Jesus was not God, and that was a very interesting, that his views are in line with the Quran. And um, I'd like to share his, uh, uh, this short clip. And uh, for full video, you can uh, go to uh, Alex O'Connor's channel and watch the entire video over there. It's one question to ask whether Jesus was God. Yes. The question of whether Jesus claimed to be God, yeah. I find to be one of the most interesting in biblical scholarship, and I wondered yeah. what your views are on the matter. Yeah, so I think it's right to differentiate between those two because a lot of people don't. Um, the question of whether Jesus was God, is, is, I agree, is completely independent of whether he ever said he was. It's also independent of whether he thought he was, but we have no access to his thoughts. Uh, we do have, we have access to some limited extent to his words. I, I am firmly convinced that Jesus never talked about himself as God. And one way to demonstrate that is to line up our sources of information about Jesus chronologically. And so I mentioned earlier that we have the first three Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. These are called the Synoptic Gospels because they, they agree in so many places in their, which stories they tell, the sequence of the stories, even word for word, verbatim agreements, that everybody pretty much agrees that there's some copying going on. Somebody's copying somebody. Um, scholars who've worked on this since the 19th century have said that um, Matthew and Luke both had Mark as one of their sources. So you had Mark as a source. Matthew and Luke copied Mark, but Matthew and Luke have a number of sayings of Jesus not found in Mark. And so most scholars today continue to think that Matthew and Luke had access to some other source of written source of information that they call Q. Mm -hmm. uh, Q is a, is a list of, is a group of Jesus sayings that Matthew and Luke had access to. Matthew has some materials not found in Mark or Luke. So they say, well, that came from some other sources. And Luke has some uh, material not found in Mark and Luke. So that's other sources. Okay. So you've got you got Matthew, Mark, and Luke, but you also have Q and M, Matthew special sources, and L, Luke special sources. If you look at all of that material, Matthew, Mark, Luke, uh, Q, M, and L, okay, all of that together, Jesus never calls himself God. All of our earliest sources, where Jesus starts calling himself God is the Gospel of John, yes. our last source. And so, to my thinking, um, you have these sources of information about Jesus. So I've just laid out six, six sources, six pieces of information versus one. The six are all earlier than the one. It seems to me completely implausible that six authors would describe the sayings of Jesus knowing that he called himself God and neglect to mention that part. Hmm. <laughs> like that, that bit just isn't important enough to bring up. <laughs> And I think, so I think it's completely implausible. People might be surprised to hear you make this, make this claim that in all of the Synoptic Gospels, we don't get Jesus claiming to be God. Yeah. 